Hey, what's up? Today we're gonna be doing a series that I do and it's called You're Stupid. Pretty self-explanatory, like all my, every single one of my series is self-explanatory. Basically in this series, we look at people who are stupid. Okay, let's just get into it. Hey, what's up? Oh yeah, here's something that happens way too often. People driving off with a gas nozzle still in their car. How do you even do that? You have got to have a lot on your mind to not realize you're doing this. And how did this person get so far away? How did you drive so far that you snapped it off and you went like 10 blocks down the street and you still didn't notice you have a gas nozzle hanging from your car? You obviously don't use your mirrors while you're driving. How do you do that though? Okay, you forget it in there, you start to drive, you feel something pulling on your car and then you get out of your car and you're like, oh crap, <laughs> idiot, I forgot to put that back. I just don't know how that happens. You're, you either have a lot on your mind or, I don't know, drugs maybe. <laughs> Here's a guy trying to get stabbed in the back of the neck by an icicle. That is not smart. I don't think people realize how dangerous icicles can actually be. You see those big giant icicles? Don't just stand underneath it and start staring straight up at it. Shit's gonna fall on your face. You should have broke all those icicles. Actually, it's pretty nice looking. It's pretty awesome how these icicles froze, but I would not be putting my head underneath them like that. Break them down first. You have to know that's a little bit dangerous. Look at that spike. That just wants to go straight into your brain. Look, you're turning your ear to Towards it. That thing just wants to drop right into your ear. Here's an article I saw. Florida drug dealer calls 911 to report missing cocaine. You are a smart drug dealer. Why would you call the cops to complain about your stolen drugs? Well, that's just not smart because, well, they're drugs and now they know you're a drug dealer. It would make sense if you were calling the cops because you know the person who stole your drugs and you just call the cops anonymously like, hey, this guy here has a lot of drugs. He lives at this address just to get back at them for stealing your drugs. You don't call and be like, hey, I'm a drug dealer and someone stole my cocaine. What are you gonna do about it? Well, we're gonna arrest you because you just admitted you're a drug dealer. I don't know if this is stupid or very skillful. How did that even happen? What, did you jump a ramp on top of your garage? You know what, I'm gonna take this as, um, it wasn't stupid, it was skill. I'm gonna just pretend they meant to do this. They just parked it perfectly. Wow. Oh, you know what it is? I know what it is. It's an underground garage and they were parked on top of the underground garage and then when it raised up, their car was still on top. So you don't park there. That's not a good place to park. Solve the mystery. Book readers are ever reading and never coming to true knowledge. Read books and you will be dumber after reading them because your mind is polluted by idiots that also read books only to write more books. Books are for dumbasses. I get all my knowledge on the Google. Social media teaches me everything I need to know. I got a thousand cat pictures. If it's a picture and there's words written on it and it's on the internet, then it's true. Here's someone who vandalized a car. They wrote bitch on one side and fat get. I think I know what they meant. I'm pretty sure I know what they were trying to say, but if you're gonna go out and vandalize someone's car, at least, you know, spell check before you vandalize a car, or else you just look dumb. He called me a bitch, and then fat, and then told me to get something. I was very confused. Ooh, here's a couple construction workers building a wall. Wow, you guys don't give a fuck at all, do you? Look at this brick. How was that the right way to put the brick? Vertical on this one, yeah. It's like right at the bottom, they started trying to make it nice and even and then as they go further and further up they're just like fuck it man let's just get this done i gotta watch 90 day fiance it's coming on later there's a forklift mishap well at least they weren't moving something highly explosive oh wait they were what did you think was gonna happen you're just gonna jump down that ledge and land and then just scoot off in your forklift off into the sunset Ooh, look at this makeshift helmet out of a a pad. Sure, that'll save you. I'm sure you'll be fine. No, nothing could go wrong here. If you put a few drops of lemon in your eye, it will become green. <gasps> what? Picture. Oh, hey, no way. It didn't work. Squirting lemon into your eye didn't change the color of your eye. Oh, no, what? I was totally gonna try it. I don't know. Maybe they're just really stoned. Maybe they didn't try it. Or maybe they tried it because they're really stoned, I don't know. Throwback to when the car insurance lady asked my mom for front, rear, and side views, but she didn't get the memo. That felt weird. Thanks, Eva. Hope those work. Susan, you look very nice, but I need pictures of your vehicle. Well, at least she didn't send nudes. That would have been real awkward. And uh, let's just end with three idiots lighting their crotches on fire. Nothing could go wrong here. Or maybe they just had a vigorous amount of lovemaking just happen. Maybe they all just got lap dances and those lap dances were fire. Maybe I'm the idiot. 
Maybe I should be lighting my crotch on fire. Maybe all the cool kids are doing it. I like how calm they all look and then seconds later it was probably just chaos of them all slapping each other in the crotches. I know they did it on purpose. And that's, that almost makes it even worse. I mean, if you get your crotch set on fire by accident, at least it was an accident, but if you set your crotch on fire on purpose, that's a, it's like a next level of stupidity, but I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure they're, they did something to make it so it wouldn't burn their crotches, but still not a risk that I would be willing to take. Clap your hands. Burr, burr.